Now quite often what I want to do is I want to create an image using AI but I want it to be really realistic. I don't want it to be something that the second you look at it, you go, no, that's AI. Now it's interesting because we see lots of images being posted on social media, like Facebook, for example, that is clearly AI. I mean, it's just absolute rubbish, but people are piling in and saying, oh, fantastic looking, you know, oh, such a beautiful woman. Oh, so good for her age. Oh, you know, she doesn't age. Oh, she, she looks so good. It's AI, right? It's, it's AI and it, it just smells of AI. But this afternoon I've been working on something that I'd like to show you and that is I've been doing a bit of testing with ChatGPT and Midjourney. And if you stick with me, I'm going to show you how you can actually unlock Midjourney to create some incredible images. I'm talking about going from something as lame as this to something as incredibly realistic as this. And we're gonna do this very, very quickly in just a few minutes, and you'll be able to do this yourself as soon as you watch this video. So let's go do it. Right, so I'm gonna show you how we've gone from something as lame as this. I mean, this is just awful, isn't it? It really is absolutely awful. It just looks completely AI. So how did I go from something as lame as this to something as incredible as this? Now, I think that this image is just absolutely bang on. Uh, it's incredibly realistic, it really is. And I think that you'd be hard pushed to tell that that was AI. And I think you'd be hard pushed <laughs> to try and convince somebody that this wasn't. It is absolutely crazy. It's, um, they're, 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 com they're complete worlds apart when it comes to the quality that we've got there. Now it's really simple. I'm gonna show you the, the, actually go through the process that I did. First of all, I was actually doing logo ideas, as you can see up here, big traffic logo ideas. And I used the same conversation to do this. And you can do that in ChatGPT, or you can open up new conversations for each thing that you want to do. So I just typed in here, Please create a very realistic image of two men happy at what they see on their laptop screen. This is for the sales page because it was for the sales page of the big traffic product that I've been working on. And it came up with this and I thought, Do you know what, that is just absolute rubbish. So then I've said, look, that looks very AI. How do you suggest I get a believable result? Do I need to tell you the kind of camera lens? And of course, it says, yes, if you want a truly photorealistic believable image that doesn't scream AI, giving more specific visual and technical guidance helps massively. So then it goes through and it's got all of this stuff, right? It's saying what it should do. And that, now I like to do this because I like to get ChatGPT to really think about what I've just asked of it. So I've asked it to do this, please create a very realistic image of two men. But now I've, I've said, look, that looks AI. So it's now thinking about it, right? It's thinking about what it should say. And then it says at the end, if you'd like, I can redo it now using these enhanced prompts. So we've got ChatGPT to think about it. And it's thinking about the, the camera, the lens, the lighting, the environment, the pose, the emotion. Uh, the, the term photograph, ultra realistic, shot with professional camera, etc. So would you like me to do it? Just say the word. I say, yes, please go ahead. And it gives me this. And you think, oh my God, seriously. Now, I don't know about you guys, but that to me just smells incredibly AI. I mean, look, it's better, but it's still smelly. So I'm thinking... No, you must be able to do something better. So I say, are you able to see the image you just created? Yes, I can see the image I created, meaning I can analyze it and describe its contents. I say, it still looks very AI. So I'm asking, I'm trying to get ChatGPT, because oh, I've got some great results from ChatGPT in the past, but it's come up with a prompt. Um, I say, you know, would you like me to do it? Yeah, go ahead and do it. And we've got this. It still looks AI. It really does. I mean, some people might think it looks good, but... Even this, you know, it's, it's getting better, it's getting better, but it's still, there's still something that, about it that just smells a bit AI. And then we came back to this, which is just incredible. I mean, look at the smoothness of the skin. It's like, this is the fishiest smelling AI image uh, for something that we've gone all through that to try and achieve. So I thought, oh, do you know what? This this is like, this is, this is getting a bit painful. So I'm gonna go over to mid journey but i asked it first of all i said look is there another model that you could use that you know i'm thinking chat gpt uh, one of these look you got 03 you got mini <laughs> you got more models you got all of these i'm thinking maybe one of these would be better for the images and it says well actually there's dal dali 
and then there's uh, Mid Journey, Stable Diffusion, well, Dali that it uses, and then there's Mid Journey version 6 or newer, Stable Diffusion. And I thought, well, look, I use Mid Journey, so I'm going to go over and I'm going to come up with something that eventually looks like this. But let me take you back on how I got to this, because this is an interesting journey, and I'm, I'm kind of really quite excited about this. You can see all the images that I've got here. Now, if we just come back down here, so you can see at the beginning, so basically just copied and pasted in the same prompt, all right? So, so we'll come back over to this, a hyper-realistic professional photo of two diverse men, blah, blah, blah. Come, came back with that, right? So I'm pretty sure that that was a copy and paste of this. Yep, and we got this. Now, that straight away is brilliant, all right? I think that is just like, you know, leagues ahead. Some of them are a bit weird. This one, I think, is incredible, but then... I just carried on. I made a few tweaks. So, for example, if we look here, the chaos is 10, and then I'll put the chaos to 14. So chaos is, if we have a look at the variety, right? So variety, add more variety to your image results with the chaos parameter. And you can see here that this is chaos with zero, and this is chaos with 30. So it adds more style. So I thought I'd just put that up a little bit. And then I also in increased, let me see. So the chaos went to 15. And the weird stayed at 100. The style stayed at raw. Stylize is, I think I took, I'm just taking stylize out. You know, I started getting these results. I think, yeah, that's pretty cool. And then as I was going through, I mean, so this one I think is, is great, although it just didn't even listen to the prompt, right? Because I said two men, and that's one man. And some of them like were just blurry, like this one, which is a bit weird. So I tried to rerun it. Uh, so this one here was blurry. So I, I rerun it, and it, each one was still blurry, weirdly. And then I came across something that was going to make all the difference. And... So here, for example, you can see it's okay, but this guy doesn't really look like he's looking at this. This guy is kind of looking beyond him, which is a bit AI. And this one's a bit, it's not bad, you know, it's not bad. But I think then we suddenly get to things like this and you're like, wow. Now, this you may notice if you look over here, the eagle eyed amongst you is version seven and with the profile global version 7 profile now how did i get that well i got version 7 because i was looking at these and i thought hey wait a second there's version 7 there so i went to choose it but i had to unlock it and in order to unlock it i had to go through a series of photographs 200 photographs where there was photographs side by side choose one that i liked out of the two if i wasn't sure skip all right and it went quite quickly so it was like most of the time it was obvious for me that one that one that one now by doing that it then gave me a code that i could paste in to up here so when i when i put in my prompt in what will you imagine it gave me a code to get my global version 7 profile and that is how we've got these incredible images here i mean look at this this i mean you could <laughs> let's just go back let's look at this and then let's look at this which one do you think looks more realistic? I mean, it's like crazy, isn't it? Absolutely crazy. Uh, we look at this one, again, super realistic. Um, this one, super realistic. I mean, absolutely, like the lighting and everything here is just crazily good. It really is. Then it got a bit weird, all right? So I thought, oh, that's got a bit weird. Um, what are we doing there? What, what's gone? Because even that looks a bit AI, and this is a bit weird. And then I realized that what it was, was I wasn't putting in the global profile. Although having said that, these four here were without that. But then come up to these, and I mean, look at this image here. Like this, it is incredible stuff. It really is. Absolutely super realistic. And that's by using version 7 and the global version 7 profile. Now, I do pay for my mid-journey, and it, it can be quite expensive but it gives you a few different options when you when you pay for it so you might decide you want to do that but i think that we can safely say that the kind of results that we're getting here that is just it's it's leagues leagues apart worlds apart from this village that we see on this one
So I hope you enjoyed that. And look, it really, really helps me if you could show your appreciation by just giving this video a thumbs up and maybe in the comments below, tell me which of the images you really liked and whether or not you're gonna be giving me Journey a go yourself or if you're just gonna stick with ChatGPT. And of course, if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, which about 50% of you who watch my videos regularly haven't, then why don't you go ahead, click on the subscribe button, go for the notifications bell so that you get notified when I upload more free training like this and you don't miss out on anything. Go ahead and do that now and I'll see you on the next video. All the best.